Think of the soil beneath your feet as this big complex ecosystem with billions of microorganisms, each with their own distinct genetic code. And within these organisms lie the potential solutions to treat genetic diseases yet to be discovered. At Metagenomi, we are developing potentially curative gene editing therapies. With the correct gene editing tools, this could allow us to make any therapeutic gene edit anywhere in the human genome and to do that safely. So we look to these systems in nature where they have evolved for billions of years, and we can find the promising systems, bring them into the lab, and then engineer them so that they can safely and efficiently modify DNA, which potentially allows us to treat genetic diseases in humans. When we partner Metagenomy's cutting-edge science with nature's blueprints, we can discover solutions that could potentially transform lives. Designing tailor-made systems for a specific disease target requires having access to a broad toolbox of these many natural systems. Finding a system that works well in cells can be one in a million. In order to find enough data that we can have an optimal set, we need to scan through millions and millions of examples of these biological systems. For the last seven years, Metagenomy has been building up this giant proprietary database, and we've been pulling in data from publicly available sources that we custom process through our own pipelines, as well as data from sampling expeditions. To date, this giant database, which is highly complex, is composed of over 15 billion proteins, and they're all linked to their environmental and genomic context. That's where AWS comes in. They provide the computational power and storage that we need to scan through millions and millions of these systems. And the more systems that we can scan through and the faster that we can scan through them, the greater our chances of success. We approached AWS with a challenge. We wanted to see if we could scale our AI capabilities to analyze all of the proteins in our database. From the beginning of our discovery process, we wanted to be able to apply large models, not just to isolated sets of proteins, but to all of the 15 billion proteins in our database. If we could make this work, it would transform our ability to find the right protein. One of the ways we identify which proteins in our database are useful is by using machine learning models to predict the way they fold into three-dimensional shapes. These structures give us valuable information about how the proteins might function but the models we rely on are difficult to scale to the billions of proteins we have in our database. Working with the AWS prototyping team and using AWS's guidance for protein folding as our foundation, we're now able to fold proteins at an unprecedented speed and scale. We can easily fold over 100,000 proteins in a single day, which allows us to use protein structures as part of our core search and discovery pipeline. On top of that, we're using protein large language models to generate what are called embeddings. These embeddings are numerical representations of a protein that capture what a model has learned about a protein based on its training. And we're able to use these embeddings to search and explore far more diverse proteins than ever before. We've generated nearly four billion protein embeddings from our database that we use for searching and for training additional models. This was a massive undertaking. The safety and performance offered by AWS Storage Solution and the ability to back up data and track its origin is critical to what we do. AWS helped us implement a completely serverless vector database solution that allows us to search billions of protein embeddings in seconds rather than hours and at a fraction of the cost. We're now using AI as a tool to generate and validate completely new enzymes that could be used to potentially treat or even possibly cure disease. This combination of an unparalleled evolutionary database and AI is allowing us to take drug design to new levels. That services like AWS Batch and Inferentia, Amazon S3, and EC2 spot instances that are making this happen while cutting costs to about a fifth of what they previously were. For diseases like hemophilia A, for example, we are developing enzymes to provide patients with a one-time treatment. AI is improving our ability to do that by making our gene editing tools even better, improving programmability and efficacy compared with first-generation systems. By partnering with AWS, we have accelerated the development of potentially curative genetic medicines, medicines that could fundamentally change the way that we treat diseases, not just managing symptoms, but actually curing the underlying cause. We believe that this is a paradigm shift in healthcare as we know it. Nature holds the patterns, and Metagenomy is helping to unlock them. Together, that's how we could find tomorrow's cures.